If you care about the climate, shipping probably isn't the first sector you think about. But the industry that moves around 90% of global trade also produces roughly 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions. That's why the next decade in maritime will be rough for anyone clinging to diesel and full of opportunity for people ready to help rebuild it. The UK is moving quickly. Through its UK Shore program, government has committed £206 million purely to clean up shipping. This includes repeated funding rounds for low-carbon vessels, fuels, and port infrastructure. A recent £30 million package is backing projects in hydrogen, ammonia, methanol, solar, and electric ships. This explicitly aims to boost jobs and skills in coastal communities, demonstrating it's an industrial strategy, not a token pilot. Internationally, the rules are tightening. The International Maritime Organization now has a net zero target for shipping by around 2050, with pressure points in the 2030s. The EU is pricing shipping emissions, and cargo owners are demanding cleaner supply chains. Ships and ports last for decades, so anything designed now has to fit a low-carbon world or risk becoming a stranded asset. On the water, the technology shift is already visible. Engineers are trialing hydrogen fuel cells for shorter routes, ammonia and methanol for longer voyages, and battery hybrid systems. A new Scottish-built wing sail, Fastrig, has shown it can cut fuel use and emissions by up to 40% on suitable routes. Ports are adopting sensors, automation, and AI to streamline operations and shave off every unnecessary ton of fuel. This is where careers come in. Three broad paths are opening up. Engineers and technicians are needed to design, install, and maintain alternative propulsion systems, charging networks, and shore power connections. Data and AI specialists are in demand to build route optimization tools, emissions dashboards, and predictive maintenance systems. Policy, sustainability, and finance professionals are shaping new regulations, green shipping corridors, and investment rules. If you want a quiet life in a stable industry, this probably isn't it. But if you want to work on climate solutions that genuinely matter to the real economy, the UK's eco-shipping transition is becoming one of the most significant bets you can make with your career. Thanks for watching Career Chronicles UK. See you in the next video.